The night before, Alex Jones came out and he was fire breathing. It's the spirit of God is with us. The election was stolen and we have proof. We don't quietly take the election fraud. We don't quietly take the scam. This will be their destruction. They were ginning up the crowd to a frenzy. Are we going to fight like a Flynn tomorrow? Yeah. They said something really special is going to happen tomorrow. We can't tell you yet. The morning of January 6th, I went to the Washington Monument where Trump was to be speaking at the Ellipse at 11 a.m. When I got there, there were tens and thousands of people. I saw the Proud Boys arrive and I followed them as they marched to the mall and headed towards the Capitol and they were chanting, F Antifa, F Antifa. Oh, no. So I went back to where Trump was speaking and we waited another hour till he came out. If they don't get this right, they gotta get the two shoulders, you carry a flag on the front of the right. We are gonna take our country back, okay? Stop talking, let's start hanging! I really believe that Trump delayed that speech for an hour while we sat in the cold to give everybody a head start on that insurrection. We will never give up, we will never concede. And after this, we're going to walk down and I'll be there with you. He wasn't. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. I wandered down to the Capitol, all my friends were there already, and by the time I got there, a lot of people there, and they were starting to go over these barricades. They were cement, they were, you know, they were like built into the thing. And this is the in the building! Now or never, now or never, now or never. There were guys, they were almost like monitors. There were guys with megaphones. They were like corralling them, and they were telling them what to do, and they did everything these guys said. Bring the line forward! I'm convinced it was your missing work instead of what I saw. He called the National Guard team here to clear us out. The Defense Department told her no thank you. Move forward! Save your country! As we moved forward, all of a sudden you see a guy with a flag and the crowd goes crazy and they start cheering. By the way, no cops. I didn't see any cops. I was in Charlottesville, and I was there when the first punches were pulled. There's no cops anywhere in Charlottesville until they shut the place down. The National Guard came in, and the same thing happened here. January 6th is the new 1776! People are coming back out, and they're coughing, and you can see tear gas everywhere. I don't support looting, I don't support violence, I support a peaceful protest to put them on notice that we, the people, demand justice. They were sending them into this thing and they were just doing whatever these guys told them to do. Somebody asked me what's the next step. I did not bring my bulletproof vest because I did not know any of this was going to happen. This is a start. I didn't know that they had breached and they had gone inside, so I would—I thought they meant inside by where the place where I was. Past year or so, the back to blue has been really big, right? They love the cops, the cops love them. All of a sudden, the Capitol cops just show up and they have their gloves and they push, they literally push the uh, people back. These guys have got the MAGA flags and stuff and they don't understand what's happening. All of a sudden, they're being tear gassed and beaten. See what they're willing to do to you! See what they're willing to do to you! This is our police! Beat me over the head! Spray me with mace! Traitor! 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 There's a standoff 
on one of the side areas of the Capitol. A veteran goes up to them and he takes off his backpack and he takes up his card that identifies that he was a sergeant or whatever. And he said, what about your oath? What about your oath? You should be in jail. Come on, guys. You know, in New York, when an altercation starts, immediately the cops come and they start making arrests. They just break it up immediately. But nothing. It's a very dangerous time because there's a lot of incredibly angry people. And I used to be able to talk to them. It worked for a while, but it doesn't work anymore. Because now they hate the media. They hate Fox. They hate Fox. Congress people actually acknowledged the photographers. They were so grateful for them documenting what was going on. Because the horror of it, I didn't know until I got back to my hotel room that night. I had no idea what was going on. We want Trump! 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 They were so pumped. That was what, that was what was scary the other day. They were like animals. They were revved up, you know. And then, you know, what do you do with that? I think they don't bother me because, like, I'm an old lady and by myself. I look kind of unthreatening. They don't know how dangerous I really am. <laughs>